Hi there, welcome to another episode of Black Pack Homestead. I get this call today. Today is, I can tell you what today is. Today is July 16th, 2019. I get this text from Marilla while well, I'm at work there, cause you know, I do work 40 hours a week. <laughs> and the message says, one of the damn quails has pecked eye out. One of the Dan quail has its eye pecked out. He is in the smallest ferret cage in the basement. Love you. And uh, I got this message about two o'clock or so. And I get home and I walk down to the basement there and I inspected his eye. I don't believe his eye was pecked out. I think he's got it closed. There is some blood in there. I asked her if she cleaned it up. She said, no, I did not clean it up, but um, we actually debated last weekend if we should harvest some of the males or not. And uh, yeah, we decided to, to let them try and go in eight weeks, eight weeks, because we want them to put on a little girth, you know? And uh, everything was good. I inspected his eye, debating on whether I should harvest him today or just do it when I get these other guys done uh, next weekend. But uh, yeah, I just got my little handy dandy basket right here. And I plan on getting some of these eggs. Um, I don't know, what's your opinion? Should I should I harvest him today? I've never harvested a quail. I'm pretty sure I can do it quick. I've, I've uh, cleaned grouse, wild grouse, and it can't be any harder than that, so. Um, yeah, just let me know. Um, I may just do it today on this video. Uh, just because I'm curious. I want to know what one of these little guys tastes like, you know. But the whole process is pretty quick. I may cut... Well, we'll get into that. We'll get into that later. So, right now I'm just going to collect my eggs and we'll talk more about that. Alright guys, that's my, my uh, egg haul here. I have seven little eggs, and uh, we'll probably end up with a few more before the day is done. Um, I'm gonna go and say a little prayer, and I'll probably end up doing this little quail in and let you know how that tastes. This is gonna be my, my first quail harvest. Um, these eggs were actually purchased by a gentleman, uh, AJ Farms, and he had them to us quick. I mean, they're quick, they're good, good quality birds, good hatch rate. And, uh, yeah, I know, I took your egg. Um, but yeah, everything's good. Um, let's gonna do this quail harvest right quick. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Um, like I said, I've cleaned grouse out, and that's really not a problem with me. I've cleaned rabbits, and, uh, yeah, I, I've done a lot of squirrel too, so. Believe it or not, America's people eat squirrel occasionally. It happens. Um, yeah, let's do it. So I've said my little prayer, said my little prayer to uh, to the bird there, and I decided to harvest. And um, it was an unusual feeling uh, to do that. Uh, I've done a lot of rabbits. This was a little different. Um, everything went well. It's just an unusual, unusual experience, you know, for somebody to, to do that. You know, a lot of people say, "Well, I don't understand why how you." Can 
you to ever raise these animals and, you know, do them in. And, um, the fact of the matter is you got somebody else doing your dirty work for you, you know. And so nobody prayed over that animal. And nobody raised that animal and took care of that animal and fed them. So, you know, it's not an easy thing uh, to really talk about. But it's just how it is. We're part of a system that is designed the way it is, um, regardless of whatever your beliefs are. And, yeah, I mean, I just don't think we're above it. I watch a lot of these shows on TV, a lot of survivalist type shows, and it's, you know, it's just part of it. If you don't eat meat, then you're just, you're missing out. That you generally don't do well. Um, so, the plan is, take this little guy, I'm gonna snip his wings off. I'm gonna skin him out right quick. And yeah, cut his little feet off and then cut up and down the spine and isolate both breasts basically. Um, I'll keep you updated as to how it tastes. This is my first time eating quail. Um, like I said, I've eaten some wild grouse and wild grouse had a very unusual smell to it. Uh, kind of sweet when I was skinning them out. So I'm wondering if these are going to be the same. Um, I'll let you know how this tastes. I'm going to eat this thing tonight and I'll give you my review tomorrow. Um, but yeah, seven eggs and a, and a quail today. I debated on what I should do and I'm, I'm just ready to eat one now. I appreciate all the viewers, everybody that subscribed. I mean, it's just been ridiculous. Um, there's nothing more to say, you know. Uh, if there's anything I can do for y'all, let me know. I'd like to thank Patriot Farms. Patriot Farms is out toward Hickory there. And I got to talking to them, them the other day. Uh, they want one, one of my rabbits, and I'm okay with that. He's a little past time, and I don't want to harvest because he's tough. Um, I'd rather barter a trade or sell. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to barter a little bit. I mean, I got some stuff to barter. They got stuff to barter. Um, that's what it's about. Uh, money's just an intermediary, guys. That's how people used to do it back in the day. It's, it's awesome. How can you go wrong? So, let me take two minutes of my life and skin this quail out. And I'll let you all know how it goes. All right, y'all. Process took but a few minutes, um, basically. Just go snip their little wings off, snip the little feet off. Um, skin pulls right off. Cut up the spine one way and down the other. I just cleaned him right out. That's my finished product right there. My first quail harvest. I did save uh, the heart and the liver and what I believe is the gizzard. I'll have to pop it open and see if it's got grit in it. But yeah, that's what we're gonna be tasting tonight. And I'll let y'all know how it all plays out. It looks good. I mean, it just looks good. Looks like good meat. All right, guys, we're back from uh, cooking up our quail. And how I cooked it is I made a little aluminum foil pack and I put him down in there and I melted some butter in the microwave, put a little seasoned salt on it. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? And uh, I cooked him at 425 for 25 minutes and I popped him right out and it was, what do you think about it, honey? Oh my Lord, that was, I kid you not, probably one of the most delicious fowl I've ever eaten. That sounds kind of stupid, delicious fowl. But yeah, I thought it was really good, man. You took it out of the oven, I didn't even let it cool off. I tore into that package and ripped a leg off and it's delicious. It's very dark. Um, it's a dark meat. Kind of made me think of turkey. Turkey? Like more um, turkey than turkey? Yeah, kind of how Rabbit is more chickeny than chicken. It's more meaty, flavorful than chicken. Well, this is more meaty and flavorful than turkey. Oh yeah. What did you? Yeah, think? I think it ruined chicken for me forever. Yeah. <laughs> I love dark meat, guys. Meat. And uh, if you like it too, it's right up your alley. Mm -hmm. um, psh, I think these guys are gonna get next week, and I think I think we're gonna have to go probably this weekend. do a batch. This yeah. weekend. This weekend we're gonna harvest nine. Yeah. Um, we were going to harvest nine total, but I think five to 18, we're going to have less fighting among our males. Oh, yeah. So, there you go. So? Mm. So, I want to harvest next weekend. <laughs> I highly recommend it, guys. Like, if you like dark meat, you can't go wrong. 
It is great. I and mean, and so great. then you get eggs too. You know, you get eggs, you incubate your eggs, you keep your breeders, your layers, and then you do grow outs like you do with baby rabbits or Cornish crosses or whatever. You know, meat you're raising, small size. You know, and uh, yeah, I wonder why did I start with rabbits? <laughs> um, I mean, I love rabbit meat. When I lived in the UK, I, I ate a lot of rabbit meat. Um, but I'd never eaten quail, so I was kind of iffy. You know, you never know. But, buddy, I tell you, start with quail. There, Don't start with chickens. Don't start with rabbits. You want eggs and meat that is divine, nu nutrient-dense. Yeah, if I could rewind, I would start with quail. Yeah. The, uh, the meat was definitely denser. It was kind of more mm -hmm. like a turkey meat. Um, it was not grizzly. It was just a little denser. Dense. Yeah. Very, the fibers are very close in the meat when you chew it it's just very dense it's not really tough it chews up fine it's just dense and we were going back back and forth continually picking off, picking off, off of, oh, yeah picking off of him just we didn't it. even put him on the plate and sit down we stood at the stove and picked off <laughs> <laughs> ate it. and with all the puppies around uh, us going oh <laughs> and i was sad. like it is not time for you it to was, eat quail it yet was sad. Oh, and I ate a quail heart. Yeah, we ate the quail heart. Ate the quail heart. Uh, I still got the liver and whatnot for the for the dogs. Yeah, the liver, liver and the gizzard. I'm well, probably gonna have to sort out see if there's any sand in the gizzard. Yeah, we gotta but. clean the gizzard out. But you know, we'll let the doggies have that part. They usually get the hearts and livers of the rabbits. Um, so you know, when they smell that organ meat come in the house, they're just like. <sighs> Yeah. That's they were like all over him. <laughs> definitely considering doing just a bash for meat, guys. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's definitely for great. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to go and check and see if we got any more eggs. We had seven earlier, and uh, we'll probably get a few more before the day is done. You want to come and see? Ah, let's go see. Let's go let's see. Go see. Oh, the battery is about to die. Oh no. And no, I've charged it today. Battery. Look at that garden jamming. I got a Mr. Stroppy that's super tiny. I'll show you that on a different video. They're supposed to be like really big. Where's my eggs? Where's the eggs, <clears throat> Quello? Look, see, they got some what watermelon you... rinds <clears throat> picking on it. Where's my eggs? There's Where? one. Where? I see one to the back. Oh, I see one. I see yeah, one. I see one to the back. See another one? No. Dust bath? I have to, I have to well, Dust see. bath? No, nope, nothing in dust bath. I'll r rummage around in there. Well, I wish they were... Ellen there looks like she's fixing to pop. Oh. He might have. Oh no, they're fixing to do it. Action Jackson over Action there. Action Jackson. Action Jackson. Bounce, bounce, bounce. All right, baby, we have saw that we had quail eggs. <clears throat> and the new tripod is falling apart mm -hmm. <laughs> so close this one out for us honey god bless you all for watching this video i hope you're as blessed as we have been more so and uh yeah keep on watching mm -hmm. and uh yeah if you're doing some quail let me know what you think about it and we'll see you here next time at the black pack homestead we bless you and bye-bye.